I do that, please? We may, we may just start or continue with the small talk anyway. I'm kind of getting an image now of the class here. There are a couple of guys. Hello. Hello. What's your name? Anya. Anya? Vanya or Anya? Anya. Anya. Where are you from, Anya? Germany. Germany. And uh, the other girl? From France. From France. Okay. Come forward, girls. Come forward. There's a lot of room here. So I will say, um, hello to you as well. What's your name? Hello. hello. What? Yenka. Yenka. Where are you from, Yenka? Uh, Belgium. Belgium. Oh, and hello. Hi, I'm Caroline. Caroline, you're yeah. from France? No. No. From Germany. From Germany, okay. <laughs> it could have been France. Well, it seems we have a lot of nationalities here this year. Yeah. Okay, I think we're there. My name is Hietil Haugen. None of you can probably say that, but if you practice, you may. Kjetil Haugen. I'm a professor of logistics and sport management, and I'm also the vice director of this institution. So if you have any problems, don't hesitate to take contact, okay? I, I can pull a lot of strings if that is necessary. Today, I thought we should do three things, actually. We should uh, get to know each other a little bit. I've already started that process, saying hello to one and all of you. Trying to remember some names, but I see now that the number of people here is so big that maybe I may run into problems when it comes to memorizing all of you. But I'll try, okay? That was the first thing. Then we will go through the schedule say a few things about the course, what kind of textbook we use, how the lectures perform, showing you our internal system of uh, communication between lecturer and student. It's called Fronter, which is, I think is a Norwegian construction. And finally, we will start preparing for this course by uh, doing a quick mathematics tutorial. I don't know what you know about economic theory, but uh, economic theory is uh, heavily dependent on mathematics. So uh, I'll just go through the basics so we kind of have a starting point to know that you know what you need to know. Okay, So if there are any holes there, you must kind of be able to fill those holes by yourself, basically. Of course, you can talk to me about it. but. Uh, I make some assumptions that, that you kind of should know at least the basic mathematical level. But I'll go through that. Okay. And then I think we finish today. Uh, I've been instructed that there should be some kind of a volleyball tournament. Have you heard about that? And some guy is coming here at 3.30, I think, to pick you up. Is that correct? Yeah, I think he's from Iceland, isn't he? You know him, you're the Icelandics behind there. His name is Birnir, he's a PhD student here. Uh, he's a nice guy, you can always talk to him. Okay. Now I think we just repeat a quick trip among the students here. Your name was? Ditai. Ditai, it's on the board here. Ditai is from Thailand. She's actually living in Norway already, even though she's from Thailand. So. And you were from Russia, I think. Anna? Yeah. Where in Russia do you come from, Anna? Uh, north of Russia, Murmansk region. What is it, north of Russia? Yeah. Siberia? No, it's Murmansk region. The? Murmansk region. Murmansk, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Have you been to Moscow? Okay, yeah, that's a big city, isn't it? It's, it's very big. Yeah, 
<laughs> I was there once. I found it extremely big. This is a small city, isn't it? No. Yeah. It's normal. Oh, it is. <laughs> it's the it's the smallest city in the world who ever had a, a football team in Champions League. That's small. That did you know that? No. Now you know. Okay, one season, the home team played in Champions League. Okay, Champions League is a great event, isn't it? And it's a sport event. Okay, we will talk a little bit about this stuff in this course. I have to continue my travel. And it was you again. What was your name? Jenka. Jenka. Yeah. From Germany? No. No, Belgium. Belgium. Yeah. I think you're the first Bel first Belgium student we have here, actually. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. yeah. What brings you here? I don't know. You don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. To study and to see the yeah, yeah. Where in Belgium do you come from? Um, from Brugge. 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 Oh yeah, the capital. Yeah, new, new by Brugge. No, not th that's Brussels. Oh yeah. So th I, I thought that this was the Belgian way of pronouncing Brussels, actually, uh, but no it no wasn't. No. no, no oh, no okay. No. Yeah. Belgium so is very flat, isn't it? Uh, yeah. What's the highest yeah. mountain in Belgium? The highest. We don't have any. You don't have any mountains. <laughs> okay. No. Have Not you seen like the mountains no. around here? Yeah, yeah, you cannot. Yeah, no. this is different from Belgium, I think. Yeah. yeah. Quite different. And what was your name again? Pavla. Pavla. Slovakia? No. Yes. Yes, it was Slovakia. Yes. Okay. Where in Slovakia do you come from? Uh, North part. Okay. I was once in Bratislava, actually. So I'm I actually driving through all. I studied my bachelor in Bratislava. Every time. I've been in Slovakia, I've been stopped by the police on the border. <laughs> and I had to pay some money. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know why. <laughs> yeah, they, they claim that I'm either riding, uh, driving with the lights on or with the lights off. <laughs> so no matter what I do, I have to pay, <laughs> it seems. Ah, I'm joking. Okay. <laughs> Kelly, you're from Moscow? Yeah. Okay. What brings you here? Uh, study. Yeah. City country. Yeah. Change of environment. You speak a very fluent English to be from Russia, I would say. Uh, people tell me that all the time. Yeah. It's, uh, I don't know, I find it kind of not really pleasant when people say that. Yeah. It's, uh, I feel it's an international language. So I will stop. I will not say it again. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Elke from Germany? Yeah, that's right. Where in Germany you come from? Two hours east from Munich. It's the Bavarian Forest. Okay, I've never been there. Sorry. <coughs> and it is Veronica from Prague? Czech Republic. <coughs> and it was Adeline yeah. from Romania. Yeah. They're almost covering all of Europe here, it seems. And then it was from Germany, yeah. Caroline. Yeah. Where in Germany do you come from? Uh, about two hours south from Munich. Okay, the same area as uh, Elke no, then. It's, it's more south. More south. Austrian border. Yeah, Germany is big, you know. Yeah. Even if it's close to Munich, <laughs> it's not <laughs> close to each other. Yeah. And then it was Sira Yul. Yeah. Where are you from? Bangladesh? Yes. Okay. From Dhaka. Dhaka. This is on the other side of India, isn't it? Yeah. Or Jesus yeah. India. It's Pakistan on the left of India and Bangladesh on the right. Is that right? Uh, on the map? Actually, Bangladesh is the, uh, the three sides. The border is border India. Immediately in Bangladesh. Okay. Have you been to Norway before? No. No. It's faster. Okay. Manny has the first visit to Norway here. Um, Hands up. First time? Yeah. Ah. Okay. Yeah. So, so you've been here before? Okay. I was in Savannah for two months. Okay. Yeah. yeah. yeah so, what's your name? My name is Christoph. Christoph? Yeah. Where are you from? I come from Czech Republic. Czech Republic as well. Mm. There's another Czech student here. Did I you know, know her already? Know each other. Not from before, but we got to know each other. So, you got to know each other fast. Yeah. <laughs> you can speak some Czech then. Uh, and I got from Prague as well. Okay. Yeah. I spent a lot of time in the Czech Republic in Brno, actually. And what do you think? Hmm? What do you think? What I think about yeah. Brno? Very about nice Brno. city. Nice city. So Very cheap. Oh. Nice people. <laughs> no crime. <laughs> Not like Prague, you know. Expensive. <laughs> crime. Yeah. <laughs> Prague. At least what that's what the Czech says, isn't it? Well, that's what people in Brno say. Obviously. Yeah, yeah. I would expect yeah. that, yeah. <laughs> and the, what was your name again? Maria. Uh, Maria. And you were from? Finland. Finland. Yeah, I don't think we have any Swedes here, do we? No. Not any Danes either. So there are Norwegians and Finns then. Yeah. Okay. And what was your name again? Noelia. What? Noelia. Noelia? Yeah. Okay, where are you from? Spain. Spain? Yeah. Where are you in Spain from then? Huh? Northwest. Northwest? Yeah. So 
Salamanca or Santiago de Compostela. Yeah. That's you from? Yeah. Ah, I'm good. Huh? <laughs> I impressed myself. <laughs> Isabella? Yeah. China? Yeah. We're in China. Uh, a northern city. A dozen cities? No. Northern, <laughs> a northern city. A small North, place. Uh, Dalian. You may, may not heard about this. No, I haven't. Yes. Okay. okay. I'll try to remember. Okay. Eric, Michigan? Where in Michigan? Uh, an hour from Detroit. Hour from Detroit. Okay. North or south, or west or east? Uh, west. West. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, what where you're standing, yes? <laughs> so Detroit is in Michigan. I didn't know that actually. I knew about something called Ann Arbor, isn't it? That's, that's, that's a place in Michigan. Detroit. That's maybe half an hour from Detroit. Yeah, it's a big university there. Why didn't you go there? Uh, I didn't go. <laughs> <laughs> maybe it's expensive to go there. Yes. Yeah, okay. That may be a reason. And this guy in the green, what's your name? Thomas. Thomas, you're from Germany? Yes. And uh, from where in Germany? Uh, southwest, Kaiserslautern. Kaiserslautern, okay. Yeah. It's close to the French border? Yeah. yeah. To some extent? Yeah. I'm trying to mentally put you on the map now. <laughs> Matt. Yes. From Atlanta, mm -hmm. Georgia. You said that was not a good place. There's nothing to do. It's not bad or anything. No? It was an Olympic there, wasn't it? Yeah, 96. Yeah. So you have some experience. Maybe when were you born? 92. 92, okay. You were four years old then. You don't remember that, do you? A little bit. A little bit, okay. I went to a lot of places then. And then there are three Norwegians mm -hmm. seated together. <laughs> okay. Do you have the, the, the kind of some education from here before? You have. Um, maybe. What about you? Um, I went to Oslo University College. Okay. My first three years. So you took a bachelor there, and then you decided to come here. Yeah. Okay. So what uh, made made you do make that decision? Uh, the study program. Okay, that's good. And you? I'm three years from uh, Tulsa. Okay. So what was your name again? Linda. Linda and. Veronica. Veronica. There's two Veronicas then. Okay. And you? Chell. Chell. Okay. And then we have the three guys from Iceland. Yeah. I've already forgotten your name. Arnard? Arnor. Arnor, okay. And you were? Farnar. Farnar? Yes. With F? Far Farnar. Okay. And you were? Farnar. The same? <laughs> so it's going to be easy for you. Are you brothers? <laughs> no. No, okay. So you all come from Reykjavik then, perhaps? No. No? No, Narvik. Narvik? That's a Norwegian city, I think. Uh, <laughs> Isn't it? No. <laughs> <laughs> you know that Iceland used to be Norwegian, don't you? In the old days. Yeah. Yeah. So they speak a language we forgot. <laughs> we can't understand each other. At least uh, maybe a little bit, but uh, uh, the Icelandic people are very good at speaking Norwegian. The Norwegian people is very bad at speaking Icelandic. <laughs> so it's kind of unfair. But we get uh, occupied by the Danes, and they kind of killed our language. That's the easy history behind that thing, I think. So what brings you here? The study program? Yeah, yeah, yeah of <laughs> course. <laughs> Have you been to Norway before? Yes, two times. Yeah. It's kind of a long journey, isn't it? Yeah. Three hours by plane or yeah. something? Uh, two, hours and two, two hours and four But it's all, all over the sea. Yeah. Yeah. So if the plane goes down, you at least you. Yeah. <laughs> It'll be safer, I think. Yeah, it will be a soft uh, <laughs> landing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Okay, so what's your name? Freud. Freud? Freud, yeah. So where are you from? From France. From France, yeah. Do we have the three France here? No. No. German. The, those two? Yeah, okay. Froven? Freud. Freud. Yeah. So where in France do you come from? Well, I just here was um, Paris. Paris? Yeah, for 14, but I come from Nice. From Nice, yeah. okay. Nice city, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> the weather is better than here. <laughs> yeah, you're right. <laughs> you're right. So, and what's your name? Cecil. Cecilia. Yes, Cecilia. 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 <laughs> not from Cecilia. <laughs> Cecilia. Okay. So where do you come from? Uh, France, but in northwest. Northwest. Yeah. Okay. And your name was? Ronja. Ronja. From Germany. From Germany as well. There's a lot of Germans here. It seems yeah. interesting. And you were from Olesen. What was your name again? Johan. Johan. Yes. Okay. I'm trying to memorize names. It becomes difficult. Anna, I think. That was right, wasn't it? 
So what was your name again? Maria. Maria, yeah. Maria from, is from Norway. Where from Norway do you come from? Tumrefjord. Tumrefjord? Uh, you know, she's from Tumrefjord as well. Did you know that? <laughs> no. No, you didn't? Okay. Tumrefjord must be a big place, okay? <laughs> you were from Stavanger? Yeah. I have forgotten your name. Kato. Kato, yeah. And you were Michaela? Michaela. Michaela? Yes, correct. Where are you from then? Oslo. Oslo, okay. So we have some Norwegians here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Is that correct? So you're still in majority. <laughs> but not very much, I think. How many Germans did we have? One, two, three, four. And there are three Finns, two Americans, one Slovak, two Czechs, wasn't it? Yeah. And there are three from France? Two. Two. Oh yes, she was from Germany as well. Yeah. Two from Russia. One from Belgium. You from Slovakia. Slovakia. Was was you you were not from Slovakia? Finland. Finland, yeah, I don't know. Okay, do you have any questions before we start? General questions? Have you been able to find a place to stay? Out here at this nice view, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, okay. So you have been uh, engaged in all these activities this week? Okay. So today there will be a volleyball match. So will you take part? Should it be a team from the sport management side and one of the event? So they should try to beat, it, beat each other? Is that the idea? Okay. Now volleyball is a si silly sport, isn't it? <laughs> Made up sport. Okay. Okay. Unless there is any questions, I will uh, discuss uh, the system here a little bit. Um, this is the homepage of the college. It is called www times hihimolde.no. That's the basic start point for what I'm going to show you now. Okay. You can from this page enter our communication system called Frontier from this link here. It should be an English version. I don't know whether it's good. Maybe not as good as the Norwegian version. Oh, it looks more or less like the same. Um, in order for me to enter the system, I have to go for staff here. Yeah, you do the other one, okay? So I hopefully you'll understand that. And then I have to enter the Frontier from here. A Frontier is a kind of a program that makes it possible for me to put out all my information. And I have to log in. And uh, uh, since we speak English here, maybe I should choose English as the language. Uh, often I tend to forget that, so please remind me, OK? I don't think it really matters that much. OK, we get this uh, screen uh, within some time, hopefully. Yes. On the left board here, there's something called rooms, which kind of shows all the topics you have access to. When I look at this menu, I have a lot of more rooms, OK? But it looks differently from you. Uh, so hopefully, when you go down here, you see there's display all rooms. You can, for instance, choose that one, and then there'll be a list of all possible rooms. And see here you see all the subjects, OK? So uh, here is our course, IDR720, Introduction to Sport and Event Ex Economics. So if I uh, click here, then I get something up here. You see I've already written a welcome message to you. Uh, so far, so good, OK? We seem to have been able to find each other in this room. It says A285 here, which of course is wrong, unfortunately. So this is my fault. And, uh, but luckily, we were able to find you. Uh, the problem is that there has been a lot of very short time changes in this schedule. I will uh, return to that. On the left here, there's a lot of uh, different uh, catalogs. The first one is called Triple uh, Zero Information, and there's something called Lecture Notes. You can see it here as well. Information, Lecture Notes, Exercises, Solutions, Added Material, and Exam. Each of these catalogs will contain information which is relevant for this course. 
I will take a quick uh, run through it. Okay, so let's start with information. And information contains a single file. This file kind of collects the most important information related to the course. And you see here is perhaps the most important one so far, uh, the schedule. And you see we have lectures on all kind of different days, which of course is a problem. Not even worse, there is all kind of different rooms as well. So there is no kind of easy way to catch up with me in this course. You have to follow up this one, okay, to, to uh, be able to attend. There's also, yes? No, no, hopefully not. Hopefully this will be the last change, okay? And the reason is to due to this uh, taping. I don't know whether this works. On off. Should it blink? I don't care. It's it doesn't really. The first one is not that important anyway. So you can see today we will be in A34, which is here, 1, 2, 3, 4, and then... Uh, Tomorrow we start at 9.15, a bit early perhaps, but uh, same room, so uh, not a big change tomorrow. But then next week again we move into A2, A3, then back to A134. So roughly it's uh, a mix of A2, 2A3, A134, but also there is a, a B tag here you can see. B136 there and B136 there. This, uh, you probably know this is the A building, the B building is the other one there, so then you have to find a lecture room in that building for those occasions. Yeah, my name, Kjetil Haugen, hard to say. This is my office, 241, it's uh, one floor up south. It's the most southeast building um, a room on the second floor here, so it's kind of in that direction. Yeah, my email address uh, is uh, my self. Uh, there's my my phone number locally on the office. Uh, my cell phone number. Uh, if you call these numbers, you'll come here anyway, so you don't really need to bother with different numbers here. My my email address. Everybody here has an email address structure like this, with the first dot the second name and then this uh, at sign and then hi molde dot no so this if you want to mail somebody you really don't know to know no really don't need to know their email address you can just uh, what do you say you can construct it by this simple rule yeah there's some an old home page you don't need to bother with that and uh, if you want to know more about me you can find a lot here okay Okay, literature. Uh, <coughs> we have already been informed that the textbook is. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah, I need to have my phone. I'm sorry about that. Okay. This is the textbook, this is the standard textbook in microeconomics. How many have had already had a course in microeconomics? Nobody? Yeah, one, two, three. Yeah, you know this already, okay? Uh, hopefully this will be a slightly different microeconomics course. The idea is to try to link it more up to sport and events, okay? So hopefully it may even give you some enhancement of what you already know. Uh, my Given my experience, most students easily forget microeconomics anyway. So, but uh, of course, you're allowed to to uh, do what you like. As you probably know, there is no uh, mandatory lectures here. So, if you want to do something else, please. Okay. Hopefully, all lectures will be on the internet anyway. So, basically, you are free to do what you like here. The curriculum uh, for this course is, as it says here, chapters 1 up to and including 10, except chapter 5. So the nine first chapter, uh, or actually the 10 first chapters uh, minus chapter 5, are what we intend to spend time on. Roughly that means that we will uh, talk about uh, consumption theory, 
talk about production theory, we'll talk about general equilibrium, and we'll talk a little bit about monopoly, maybe a little bit about game theory, if we find time. As it says here, uh, class frontier, actually I think the name today is frontier, it's used as standard communication, so in the, case in the sense it's, uh, I want to tell you something, I tell you something uh, through this medium here. So uh, it may be a good idea to kind of try to follow up the information here. Maybe we should correct this, shouldn't we? Sorry about that. I should have done this already, but uh, you know I'm a busy man. So how do I say this, like this? No, everything is right here. So as I tried to say, I it's a good idea to try to follow uh, my information here, because if there is any changes, yes, Matt? Uh, do we get to our uh, molded email from the same website? Yeah, you do. This is an exchange server, you need to set it up, but it should be straightforward, I think. Uh, uh, probably you, or maybe you haven't got email addresses? Well, Have you got passwords? Have you got entrance to, to the system? Yeah. yeah, then you have an email address. Okay. I assume, maybe it is, uh, maybe it's some kind of term in between here to denote that you're students. I'm, I'm really not sure, but uh, you will get information on that. Okay, let's return to the information sheet. Um, mandatory work, uh, actually there is no mandatory work here. There will be some exercises. I will hand out exercises through this system and I will go through them. Typically I hand out one week and then I go through them the next week. Uh, the number of exercises I haven't decided yet, we will see. Okay. But you don't really have to do this. Okay. It's entirely up to you. Of course it's always a good idea to try to test your knowledge by performing exercises, as you probably already are aware of. So of course I strongly recommend you to both read and follow the lectures as well as in my opinion, the most important part is trying to conduct these exercises. There is a single exam here, written. Four hours. It will be some time in week 43 or 44. I don't think we have decided that yet. So it will be immediately after we kind of finish this course. Normally, in this school, we run these seven and a half uh, credit point courses all through the semester. In that case, we normally teach three hours a week but we kind of do it at double speed here. So there is six hours lecturing, but we finish halfway into the semester. The reason is me, because I have another course, which I, and I really don't want like to run courses in parallel, so I kind of put one in front of the other. So I'll start another course when I finish this one. Now here's a very tentative schedule, kind of what we try to carry out. So during this week, we should kind of finish chapter one and two. Today, we will not actually start on the economic theory, I think. I think we will just finish this part and then look into these math prerequisites. So what is your feeling about mathematics? Is this something you're familiar with? Is it something you like? Or is it something you dislike? Anybody want to express their feelings? You know, Norwegians, they don't, they hate mathematics. They say mathematics is very difficult. I can't, I have never understood this. I find mathematics very easy. You know, mathematics is like a language, okay? It's a very small language, very precise language, developed for a pur certain purpose, but it's much easier than any normal language. Incredibly much easier. There are really no nuances in mathematics. You say something, it means that what you say. The problem is, of course, that if you really don't understand what you say, then it uh, becomes <laughs> difficult. But, uh, but you should never be afraid of mathematics. It's uh, very easy. Or at least we can pretend it to be, okay? So, any questions, comments? Any information lacking? curious about this button here. Let me try to push it. 